What is going on, Lunatic Fringe? Guys, I hope you are ready because we've got a little bit of news going on with Duquan and we've got some price action. Not the greatest price action. It's certainly the market's been very difficult for the last bunch of days. And we've got another project that we're going to go over. However, it's one that you've seen here multiple times before. You just didn't realize what the project was. So uh, we're going to kind of dip our toe into that water, if you will. Now, if you like this type of content, make sure you hit the like button, subscribe button, and the bell to be notified of future content. Make sure you sign up for weeks if you want to burn some Luna Classic Nord VPN for your privacy, security, and protection. And don't forget, uh, if you're into gaming or anything like that, then you can check these guys out down below. Um, and, and let's kick it off. All right, so Brian Curran, former head of telecommunications at Terraform Labs, reveals in testimony in New York that the misleading practices of Duquan made him angry. And he says... Uh, that he was given misleading directives from Duquan. Uh, as per the report, an incident from May of 2021 was particularly troubling for the PR head. When USTC brief briefly lost its peg to the U.S. dollar, he was instructed to issue a misleading statement on Twitter suggesting that the coin stability just needs time to recalibrate, despite knowing the recovery was actually due to a financial intervention by jump trading. Curran said, I was fairly angry because I realized he had tried to deceive me to write a post that he knew to be false. Uh, we allege that Terraform and Duquan failed to provide the public with full and fair and truthful disclosure as required for a host of crypto asset securities, most notably Luna and Terra USD. So, um, Curran's testimony aligns with the SEC's allegations, highlighting instances where he alleged uh, allegedly pushed to disseminate information he knew to be false, according to former employee. Uh, deception made his role challenging. So, um, he also reveals that there is a, uh, it appears that not only the investors, but also the employees face challenges. It was on the back of companies' complex and often misleading public statements. As the court proceedings unfold, the case against Terraform Labs and Duquan raises legal and ethical issues. More development should be coming in the next few days. We will keep you updated with this hearing as we get information. Also, uh, nothing really other than the $4 billion burn in terms of news or, or price action for the, the general news market. And we've got the auto unbond proposal uh, listed out here. We haven't really seen anything make it into governance at this point. So a um, little slow time, if you will. So let's get into price action. Let's see where we are in the price action. And then from there, uh, we'll go look at some of these new projects. All right, guys. So uh, this blue line, big blue line, point of control. Uh, you can see we ran up through the point of control in the overnight hours around 4 a.m. and then quickly got sold back down. Looks like we had a nice $36 billion pump that just ended up getting dumped on uh, by the U.S. and late European markets. Uh, U.S. is getting ready to open for the day. We're only up $7 billion on the day. Could be that the U.S. market starts a pump because <clears throat> we've cleared out a lot of liquidity that was in this market over the last couple of days. Now, this could be the drawdown before the halving, or uh, this could be the start of another big run. So right now, uh, we're facing that downward sort of momentum on this, but it looks like the markets are really wanting to run. So uh, we could see a nice little reversal. Uh, if we do, I will zoom into range here, and you'll see that you know up here seems to be the next sort of range um, around this 1500. 15.344 seems to be the next point of control. If we can make it back into that range, that'd be about 200 points from where we are right now. And because of the burn, because of uh, market sentiment, which you know market sentiment has been generally positive, uh, just turning uh, a little bit slow over the last couple of days, I think this is a temporary uh, move. And we're probably back up in this 1500 range. And then of course, get up here and test this range up here at the top again one more time. Uh, again, I told you before, I think that this range right here represents our next sort of paradigm where we're going to kind of trade in, uh, but we've got to make one more test of it. We've had to come down off of that double top, and now the reversal appears to be in because of this big wick down here. The one concern that you might want to have is volume. Volume has been really, really down for the last bunch of days, and uh, USTC had a remarkable dip uh, this evening to about 2.4 cents again. Um, so, you know, there, there could be some still some pressure, some outliers. And of course, the news with Duquan does not appear to be good, by the way. But, uh, you know, we'll we'll see what happens. But I want to introduce you to uh, and if you haven't already, make sure that you go check out uh, if you're if you're into gaming or anything like that. Terra Casino, uh, definitely a great place for you to do uh, whatever it is that you would like to do for your gaming enjoyment. So all you have to do is attach your wallet uh, and you can start playing right away. Uh, so make sure you check them out. 
And uh, finally, this is another one of the projects. Now, we're not going to do a deep dive today, but I want to point out some of the pieces that fall into place here. Uh, the total amount burned, we've looked at this before, uh, the last seven days burns 4.6 billion. Uh, then we keep track of the circulating supply. But we have, and this is kind of important up here, we have a dashboard here that tells you the burn tracker for LUNC for USTC, how much the supply is, how much the staking is, what the price is, what the USTC price is, and the validators. And then you have the top 100 LUNC burners. Uh, so you can go down here and you can get an idea like who is actually doing the burns. And you can see 53 billion has been burned from Binance so far, 4 billion from Deflunk uh, protocol. Uh, and then you have Lunatics token, MEXC, Lunk Dow, Cremation, All Nodes, Terra Casino. Terra Casino, by the way, it, that's a, a great opportunity to continue to burn tokens. Uh, and then there's transaction counts, right? The more transactions, the more burns. So KuCoin, uh, Lunasphere, Bybit, Lunk Station. Uh, I do think that Weeks, by the way, is going to end up on this before it's all said and done. Uh, I, we had almost a million dollars in trade volume uh, just under my profile. So I, I assume that a lot of people are signed up not under my profile. So I would think that Weeks is probably going to show up here uh, at some point pretty soon. Now, uh, then there's also a little bit of uh, information for you if you're interested. How to algo trade. Terra Lunk crash and the Lunk burn memo. So you can go check these out. We're going to dig into this over the next couple of days, kind of check this site out and see what it has to offer. But if you haven't already, go to lunkmetrics.com. I'll put a link in the description down below and you guys can go check it out and get an idea of just what's going on in this community. And you can use the data. This is the data. This is not uh, someone's opinion on X. This is not somebody's idea of, of what a great Cryptonomy.finance just launched a research section, so make sure that you go check that out today. Learn a little bit more about crypto that you may not have known before. If you are a corporate client, you can have a relationship manager uh, and a lot of customer support, superior OTC services, and institutional tools that will help you in your venture. Also, if you sign up for the VIP course, you can get in touch with high-touch wealth management personnel and a lot of different people and personalized information as you need in order to successfully navigate this crypto. Also, if you look at my moves right now, you can see that I'm earning over 106 Solana on my last staking. My Tether, I'm going to earn 1,670 on my staking so far. Uh, you can see there's some of these have, I've earned $784. I can't cash out for a while, but uh, I've earned 784 so far. And then in the launch pool, guys, if you haven't checked the launch pool out, you've got to check the launch pool. Look at these ROIs that I'm getting right now. It's fantastic. Uh, 20X on K9 Finance, 7X on Weave, on Block Jerk. Uh, if, you get, if you put a stake into this system right here, it gives you a fantastic amount of rewards go check this out to thing there might be or anything like that this is the real data that you guys can see at whatever time you want and you'll be able to to break down exactly what's going on so um uh, that eliminates some of the questions and some of the spookiness of not knowing so anyway let me know what you think in the comments down below hit the like button subscribe button the bell to be notified of future content remember stop financial advice but i'm always right